Hi everyone, this is Captain Coach RJ once again. I would like to welcome you in this Facebook page or even my YouTube channel, Captain Coach RJ. Today, Coach RJ will refresh to you or will uh, simplify the uh, information related to ISM. Okay, ISM stands for International Safety Management. International Safety Management Code, uh, for your information, was valid since the year 1998. And uh, what is the ISM Code? The ISM Code is an international standard for the introduction and maintenance of a management system for the safe and ecological operation of ships okay international standard what are the contents of the ism code we have part a and part b Part A has 12 elements containing the requirements for a safety management system or SMS. The Part B has also four elements on the certification and monitoring of the safety management system. All right, it's another way, certification and monitoring. And uh, to simplify it further, ISM code has uh, a recommendations for the shipping or the shipping companies to develop or create a procedures policy that pertains to the required um, standardizations mentioned in part A and part B. Now, safety and environmental protection policy. You can um, observe this poster in the safety management system of the company, or when you are on board, it is posted uh, in the public or in the wall in order to uh, we are available and the crew will be familiar with the policy of the company related to safety and environmental protection. And also the DPA or company responsibilities that includes the DPA. Designated person ashore. Master responsibility or in Another term that you can um, read it or uh, find it in the safety management manual is the overriding authority of the master. Regarding the resources and personnel, this is the growing department, okay? The uh, standard Okay, or procedures of uh, qualifying uh, shipboard personnel, and that includes the resources of how the shipboard personnel being trained prior uh, deployment. Okay, plans for key operations related to safety and pollution, emergency preparedness, and uh, the application of these. For example, when there is a fire, when the vessel is aground, when the vessel has um, has an engine breakdown, loss of power, um, there's uh, damage. Okay, the you know there's a damage on the hull, and there are so many possibility of um, emergency. Okay, this uh, preparedness are sort of uh, procedures okay, that the company has to develop 
uh, be part in the safety management system manual. The non-conformity is an accident. It's like a near misses, an accident. Non-conformities are the procedures related to reporting system that in case of accident incident, uh, the vessel or the, there, there are procedures um, prepared, the proper communications on reporting in order to uh, mitigate or the response uh, is uh, on a timely manner. And uh, that includes also the maintenance, which is uh, the common term on board is plan maintenance system. Relevant documentations as necessary or the internal audits, okay? These are the um, requirements or recommendations that the shipping company has to create or provide procedures uh, related to the uh, same sh shipboard operation of the vessel. So just to, um, you know, uh, give you a quick uh, idea of how it works, no? from the office, document of compliance, validity, and the auditing interval, for the vessel, should have a certificate, safety management certificate, valid for five years. And the only thing, uh, interval is 2.5 or two and a half years. So when it comes to quality and safety, ISO 9000 is a quality management system. Of course, you are, the company is running the business, so, for the quality management system, uh, this is also one of their um, requirements that the company should have to comply with ISO 9000. So that's it, um, fellow mates or our uh, viewers in the maritime sector or industry, a quick refresh familiarization of the general uh, uh, at least knowledge of the ISM code. All right, and uh, thank you very much for watching. If you have some comments additional, just feel free to, uh, you know, write uh, your remarks, your insight with the uh, comments below. So this is Captain Coach RJ once again, and uh, have a nice day. Bye.